What's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator. Here we are in a Kenworth W990 by Harvin. I haven't used this truck in a while. Well, to me it hasn't been a while. Uh, I kind of made it orange and black. Halloween's coming up. Might as well. It has a lot of lights on it. Well, a lot of little lights. <clears throat> They're not too bright. We're going to be taking this case 856C, 33,730 pounds to New York. We're currently in Boston. Uh, I couldn't get... I was trying to go through... Um, what was it? I was trying to go through Topeka and Kansas City. But I just couldn't... Every time I was driving around, these the trees kept loading in and going away, disappearing, and then loading back in and disappearing. So I, I was like, I'll try a different part of the map and I'll take a few mods out. I didn't think of going back to Kansas and trying it again. I just, we'll just go to the very east coast and do it that and try it from there. That car probably stopped. No. side of the street I should be on or get on telling me to get over but New York is straight to get over now. Go straight on. Couldn't put any S I S L stuff in this game. Like uh, air freshener or the ch the girl or anything really. Um pretty much just get the radio in this truck. <clears throat> I don't know if I have the latest SISL Mega Pack. I'd have to go back and check that. Uh, I'm pretty sure well when I go to the when I play this game a couple days before I record it I go to the Steam Workshop and I check for updated mods or new mods and I also go to the ATS site and look up new mods, uh, the latest mods, I get rid of some mods, so I haven't seen a, a 1 for 1.41 but I know uh, the one that's out there, the SISL Mega Pack that has all the accessories and the chick and whatnot. Um, it works on this version, but it may not work for this truck. So, that's the current issue I have. I don't know if Boston looks like this. I don't know if Massachusetts looks like this. Uh, but, yeah. 65. My dogs are going crazy. Don't believe you can hear that. Anytime the neighbors come outside or they go to their vehicles or anything like that, they both go crazy. It used to just be one, but now it's both of them. Our puppy is eight months old. He's starting to realize things. Thankfully, he hasn't been able to see the TV yet. Or I don't know if he's a TV scene dog. Uh, our schnoodle, the two, two and a half year old dog that we have, that was my fiance's, uh, or is my fiance's. Um, that dog, I'm gonna get over. That dog can see the TV, and she recognizes dogs and animals and cartoons and. Go straight on. She recognizes like.
animals, people fighting. She doesn't like people fighting. Oh, oh this is weird. Sorry about that. I can't do two things at once anymore. I don't know if this is... I don't think this is a lane. Exit right. But she doesn't like the TV. It could be fighting or animals and she'll go crazy. So our puppy doesn't see the TV and hopefully he doesn't see it like she does or it's going to be crazy every time an animal or anything or even a person comes on the TV, like shows up on the TV. We're going to have to put them somewhere else, put them in the room. Hartford. I don't know where Hartford is. Massachusetts? Don't know. I don't know my cities too well. My cities in the East Coast, anyway. We're going too Go fast. Straight on. Like 80. Speed limit 65. So you guys would be able to tell me, is there high rises or big old apartment building high rises in Hartford? Or is this Connecticut? I don't know where this is at. I'm not even, I shouldn't even guess. In the city of Hartford. Hey, the crane is moving quite quickly. A lot of those cranes have been having issues lately. I don't know if it's the operator or... I mean, it's probably the operator, not the design. But I could be wrong. But they've been having... Uh, they've been toppling over. Or I've, been, I've seen videos. I don't know if they've been recent. So I shouldn't say lately. <clears throat> I've seen videos. On, I don't watch the news. I don't have... We don't have live TV. Uh, we do all the streaming things and... Pay! I mean, if you consider the streaming cost plus the internet cost... Then we probably pay what what live TV would cost, or you know what a cable subscription would cost. Um, but I, when it comes to the internet, I have uh, like gigabyte. I have like fiber internet. So I don't know if that weighs into the price, because if I just had like something like thirty dollar internet that that's able to run or able to you're able to stream from which is usually you know you can have seven up and 30 down and still have enough speed to run uh, streaming services like Hulu and HBO Max and all those things um, but personally, or not personally, sorry, I'm trying to do too many things here. I'm trying to get up this hill, this little tiny hill. Um, I think you, I think you can get away with spending like 20 bucks on internet, and then you count the price of whatever streaming services you have, and that would cost a lot less than <clears throat> paying for cable. But in 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 our case, we're paying pretty much the same as cable just using streaming services uh, we have all of them I think a lot of them came with uh, the new phones that we got or the new phones that yeah we both got uh, iPhone 
Pro Maxes, and they just came out with a new one, and I'm not going to get it. Uh, but, uh, it came with, like, Disney, which I don't care for, but my fiancé watches certain shows on there. Um, <clears throat> Hulu and ESPN. So we have those three free for a year. And then we also have Netflix, HBO Max, uh, uh, what's the other one? Peacock, uh, I don't know if it's Fubo or something like that. Well, I don't pay for Peacock and I don't pay for Fubo. I have the free versions, but I shouldn't be saying those. <clears throat> Netflix, Hulu, Disney, HBO Max, Amazon Prime. Welcome to New York, the Empire State. I think that's it. I think we have five subscription services. We don't pay for, like, the live TV versions of those. Otherwise, you're going to get into, like, 60 bucks a month, which... I think is we might as well get cable. Um, so we just wait. Like if there's a show that we're watching, it'll come out usually the next day on whatever glasses, subscription service you have. I was trying to compare Go straight on. Uh, having live TV to having subscription services, but... Like I said, it depends on your internet. I mean, we can have the lowest of the low if we want to, but in our situation, we have the best internet. I used to have a different company. Uh, I used to have Suddenlink internet, and I recently switched because I was supposed to have gigabyte speeds, but I think the gigabyte, I mean, I was having like 600, sometimes 800 up, and the down was like. Am I getting over it? Yeah, I gotta get over it. The down was like. Go straight on. Less than a hundred. Uh, which is fine for streaming, but for gaming, it, it's not enough for me. And then <clears throat> now I have. Vex, it's called Vexus, V-E-X-U-S. And I haven't really had any issues with them. Suddenlink uh, outsources their customer service to other countries. And anytime I had an issue, it was just pulling teeth trying to get, trying to talk to somebody really. And then trying to talk to somebody that understood uh, what you were talking about was my biggest problem was uh, with customer service. And I had a, I had to call customer service quite a lot because uh, internet wasn't the greatest. So they came in, they put a booster in, uh, they upgraded some wires, and that was all free. But ooh, cop chilling right there. Um, yeah, I just didn't think it was worth the money. I was paying like 115 bucks a month, included. Oh, shoot. Let's pay attention. I'll get back to my accident. It's an accident. Keep Justice and too. Turn. Don't know what that is. I only have like three friends on my Steam, and they're people I used to play Rainbow turn Six right. with. I haven't played with them in a while. Uh, but they haven't deleted me yet, so <laughs> and I haven't deleted them, so I don't know. But anyways, um, yeah, I didn't like the customer service with suddenly, so I decided to switch to Vexus. And I didn't have any problems until the recent storms, and they're also doing some digging in our back alley. Uh, Go straight on. So I don't know if that what what they're digging in the back alley, but they're putting some 
cable or pipe back there. Turn right. And I don't know if it's messing with it, but they they'll like they'll send me a text message and tell me that. Uh, you have arrived at your destination. Uh -oh. They'll tell me a, they'll send me a text and tell me that their uh, service will be down. Is it right there? I can't see it over there. I'm assuming it's gonna be where they like on the far end. So I don't see anything here. So I'm gonna probably back out and pull in. It, what it shows here, uh, actually it might be between, no, it can't be between them. I don't see it yet. So yeah, they'll text and and tell you tell you that service interruption will be happening. I haven't had any. I've had a little bit dropped connection, not dropped, but a slower connection. But I haven't had any like um, like drop connection. I can't do two things at once, as you guys all know. You can hear me. do an outside view just to get in here. Put it first too too high. I believe it's over here. I'm gonna check and then I'll pull up and Oh! Yeah, it's over there. Oops. Turn off our flasher since we're in this gated area. Not like in a Walmart shop. So yeah, I've been having pretty good internet with them. Um, it's constantly 900 up. 900 down. Ping is like anywhere between like 11 and 20. Um, so it's pretty good. And it's fiber. It's not through cable or anything like that. So they had to run a bunch of wires. And I think I'm paying like $30 less. Like 80 something bucks versus a hundred and a little over 110. So 30 something bucks less and it's better internet. So that's what I was trying to say. I couldn't get to it. I was just... I can't do two things at once anymore. I, I really need to do this a different way. Because it's right on the other side of that uh, trailer. So i got to cut it more. in the garage. So, let's not hit anything. Let's not hit that trailer. Concentration is real. <laughs> I don't know why I say that. Kind of hugging this right, this left side, driver's side. Let's see here. Nope, wrong way. Let's see what this looks like. Pretty good. Let's drop it off. I like this W90. I like the way it looks. I didn't like it in the beginning uh, when I first saw it. I think I saw it on like a YouTube video. I didn't really care for it, but now I like it. I mean, I've liked it since I've been playing with it, but I don't know. I like the look. I like the front headlights. I just, I don't know. Excellent case eight 
56C delivered from Boston to New York, 230 miles, 4 hours, 22 minutes, 40.7 gallons consumed. All right. That's going to do it for this episode. Sorry, my mind was crazy on this one. I was trying to talk about too many things at once and trying to drive at the same time. Like I said, can't do too many, can't do two things at once anymore. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you liked it, leave a like. If you disliked it, leave a dislike. Some people don't like it. Some people like it. Comment, subscribe, what you guys want to see next. Otherwise, I'll be driving this vehicle again. And then I'll probably be driving some other trucks with the skin packs that came with the Halloween pack that came with the game. But anyways, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Take care. Peace out.